All right, let's continue. Let's go to Sam Grover, who's with the uh, Freedom From Religious Foundation. He sent a letter to the commissioners in Brookville, Indiana, demanding the nativity scene be taken down from public property. The group said the uh, nativity scene shows that local government is endorsing one religion over the other. And up to this point, the fathers and mothers, the good citizens of Brookville, have ignored the letter whatsoever. Joining me now is that same Sam Grover. And Sam Grover, welcome to the Bill Cunningham Show. Uh, hi, thanks for having me on. Good. Are you with the Freedom uh, From Religion Foundation? Yes, I am. I'm a staff attorney with FFRF. Raise ipsa loquitur, nunc pro tunc. Let me ask you this question, Sam Grover. Tell me the <laughs> argument available to you in Brookville, Indiana, that would require the city to take down this 50-year-old nativity scene. Well, look, it's pretty simple here. Uh, when it comes to private religious dis- displays, FFRF has no problem with those. You want to put a nativity scene on church property? That's fine. Please do. But when it comes to putting religious displays on government property, well, then the government is endorsing one religious message over all other religions, and that's inappropriate. Well, what about the citizens themselves, Sam? What if the citizens of Brookville have no complaint? Right. So, again, uh, the government is responsible for uh, catering to the needs of all the citizens of Brook. Uh, Brookville, not just the Christian majority. They have to respect the minority religious beliefs or non-religious beliefs of their citizens. Well, has someone complained to you about uh, this situation, or are you kind of... Someone in Brookville said, we object. Yes, a a local complainant contacted us about the situation. We don't go out hunting for nativity scenes to complain about. There's, you know... uh, just there are so many complaints that we receive. We receive over 2,000 complaints each year uh, from members and uh, other atheists, agnostics, and free thinkers around the country who uh, disapprove of their local government officials endorsing religion. What about those who say, well, let's put up a nativity scene, then we'll put up a Star of David, and if some other religion wants us to put up a symbol somewhere, we'll put up that too. Or if somebody's an atheist, we could put up a symbol that says, I am an atheist. How about putting up all the symbols? Right. So uh, that's not what Brookville's doing, and that's part of the reason why their conduct is illegal. What are they doing? Uh, the Franklin County Commission is sponsoring a, a nativity scene. They're putting up a nativity scene, and they're not putting up... Uh, they're not opening up a forum where anyone who wants can come and put up a display. They're saying, look, here's our nativity scene, and this is what we're about. And that is impermissible under the Constitution. Is the fact that it's not in the courthouse, according to a news media story, it says here that according to the residents, the reason for the controversy is because the nativity is displayed next to the Franklin County Courthouse and violates the separation of church and state. So if it was on private property... Next to the Franklin County Courthouse, that would be okay? Yeah, absolutely. If the nativity scene were on private property, that would be fine. Have you, have you won every one of these suits, or is it a, is it a mixed bag? Well, you know, uh, we're, we're not suing in this case. Uh, we've just been writing letters uh, to the Franklin County Commission, encouraging them to respect the minority religious and non-religious beliefs of their citizens. Um, when it comes to lawsuits, uh, uh, I don't think... Uh, there, you know, it's it's a mixed bag, I would say, um, in terms of uh, the court precedent on it. There are Supreme Court cases on nativity scenes, uh, and they say that a nativity scene can be permissible in certain circumstances, like you mentioned, where there are other religious displays, you know, a Star of David, uh, and, you know, where atheists could put up a banner saying, you know, seasons, greetings, uh, something like that. Uh, but again, that's not what's happening in Brookville. So if Brookville or Franklin County would say, we're going to put up a, uh, if some citizen comes forward and says, I want my religion or non-religion belief to be reflected, the Supreme Court has said that's okay. Um, it, it depends. Uh, the, I mean, if the Franklin County Commission wants to go down that road, then they really have to do it 100%. They have to allow uh, any message to be displayed. And that's what's happened uh, in certain parts of the country. Uh, in uh, the Florida State Capitol Rotunda, for instance, uh, this year, uh, FFRF does have a display up, uh, as do uh, a Satanist group. Uh, they're putting up a display, uh, and then there's, of course, the nativity scene and 
other uh, minority religious displays. Uh, so as soon as uh, Franklin County opens itself up to the display of various you know, religious displays, it can't then tell some groups that they can't display them. So if the Satanists, and not just in Franklin County, say they're Satanists in Butler County, which is in Ohio, if Franklin County puts up the manger scene, then if there's a Satanist in Butler County who wants to travel to Franklin County, Indiana, across state lines and put up a Satanist symbol, Franklin County commissioners would be required to do that. Um, it sort of depends on how the Franklin County Commission uh, created their public forum rules. They could limit, limit it just to citizens within their county if they wanted. But uh, I don't think Franklin County uh, has made any uh, motions to, to do that, to open up their uh, courthouse lawn to uh, various displays. I think what they're doing is they're just saying, look, we have this nativity scene, uh, and you know we've had it for a long time, and we're just going to double down and pretend that there are only Christians in this community, which is just not true. Well, I would think in Franklin County, the great majority are Christians. You'd have to think 90, 95 percent. But you're saying that doesn't apply. I've been in Brookville. It's a wonderful place. The the great thing about our constitutional rights is that they're not subject to majority rule, right? Our Constitution was created to protect uh, minorities from the tyranny of the majority. So you think putting up a nativity scene is tyranny? (laughs) <laughs> I think if the county commission is endorsing one religion over others, then that infringes on everyone's right to freely practice their religion or to choose not to practice religion. And what I would say, what the heck? It's no big deal. If somebody likes to look at the Bambino, the baby Jesus, and it makes them feel good, and somebody else objects, we're not talking about, we're not talking about the practice of one's religion in some profound way or freedom of speech or freedom of assembly. We're not talking about the Second or the Fourth Amendment, search and seizure, or the Seventh or Eighth. We're talking about something rather innocuous, aren't we? And We're talking about a plastic baby Jesus. Well, um, I think the founders of our country would disagree that uh, when it comes to re- free religious worship, we're talking about something inconsequential. They uh, protected our right to free worship uh, in the First Amendment in the Bill of Rights. So uh, I think it is a pretty serious issue. But don't you think uh, if the Founding Fathers could be transfixed from the 1787 until today and get the 15 or 20 of the Founding Fathers around to vote on this, you know you would lose? Well, uh, again, uh, the Founding Fathers wouldn't get to vote on it, uh, and we don't get to vote on it. Uh, It's it's constitutional law at this point. Uh, It's not subject to a vote. Why have you decided not to sue Franklin County, who, by the way, has money problems? But why have you decided not to sue them? Um, Well, uh, we haven't actually decided how we're going to react to the nativity scene this year. Um, uh, We've complained to them in the past. They've been pretty unresponsive and uncaring. In fact, isn't it true they don't respond to you at all? They just ignore you completely. Well, uh, this is uh, only the second year that I've been involved in this particular case, so I, I can't speak to before that, but uh, they did not write back to us last year. So the, in other words, out of heck with Sam Grover. We don't care. <laughs> and so this yeah. year, I mean, we've got to about two weeks and it's over anyway, right? Look, so um, they, they can say to heck with Sam Grover. Uh, I don't mind. My feelings aren't hurt because I'm not living in Brookville. Uh, but there are citizens in their community uh, who are writing to us and asking us to complain about this. And so really the county commission is turning up their noses at their own citizens. Would they make their names public? Uh, no, uh, I, I don't think they would. They haven't been asked to since the county commission hasn't responded to our letter. Uh, but there are plenty of reasons why an atheist in a predominantly Christian community uh, would want to remain anonymous. I'm and sure you can understand I that. I understand, and you, you have the right to your opinion. Opinions are like belly buttons. Everybody's got one. And if you're an atheist, agnostic, or whatever, you have the right to, to privacy and the right to keep your name. And I, I understand that completely. But right. I also We all have opinions, but there's only one constitutional law. But the interpretation of it is open to many. And, and, and Well, I, the interpretation has been interpreted by the Supreme Court. So at this point, there is pretty clearly defined standards. Well, we'll see what happens. Sam, this is a problem. It's the tyranny of the minority over the wishes of the majority, but that's the system that we have. And I disagree with you in one respect. If you could take the 1787 Constitutional Convention 
the, the men and women who um, – I'm sorry, only the men that founded this country. Uh, they, right. had, they had religious services in the U.S. Capitol. They had no problem with that. Uh, well, they, actually, during the Constitutional Convention, they took a vote and decided not to pray. Yeah, but uh, when the Capitol was built, there was religious services conducted in the U.S. Capitol. So uh, and, the, the vision and that's sort of unrelated to the issue at hand, don't you think? Yeah, it is a little bit. But uh, I, I think if you could take those who founded the Constitution, and actually wrote it and said, right. is this permissible or not? Now, maybe I'll find out when I get to heaven. I will ask. I will ask Hamilton and Jefferson and I will ask Adams. Well, gosh, gentlemen. I don't think Jefferson's in heaven if uh, you're following Christian scripture. He was a deist. He didn't believe in a Christian God. I all, often think he was such a good man at his death on July 4th, uh, 1826, uh, that uh, I hope in the moment of his death he recognized there is a God and that he's in heaven. And I'm going to ask him, right. what well, about Sam Grover's no argument? Historical documentation of that. Yeah, but Sam Grover, I bet, is wrong. And I'll say, Sam, when I get to heaven, I will pray for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, thanks, I guess. Do you have any questions for me about the rule in Shelley's case or the rule against perpetuities or something that's conflicted you over the years? Maybe Matt <laughs> versus Ohio. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm pretty confident on my establishment clause law, and uh, I don't think the rule against perpetuities applies so much, so I think we can save that for another day. Sam Grover, thank you very much, and I hope you lose in court. But I wish you well. <laughs> Thanks. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Well, that didn't go well. But on the other hand, I firmly believe that Jesus Christ and God had a hand in the founding of this republic, and that the references to the Almighty are all over the founding documents. And if those in Philadelphia in 1787, when the Constitution was written, could hear this case, the ones who wrote the First Amendment, they would vote unanimously. Put the baby Jesus in Franklin County. It's okay with us. That is not the establishment of a religion or necessarily the endorsement of a religion. It's simply a deist position that there is some almighty upon whom we rely. Your comments at 513-749-7000 or pound 700. To me, this is a tempest in a teapot. To me, this is not important, but the media loves to cover it. Seg, I had the atheist whose life is so minimal and small, he's got to sue Franklin County for displaying the plastic Jesus a block from the Franklin County Courthouse because it's we just end this stuff. establishing I mean, a didn't religion. They used to do that at Fountain Square, and everybody yeah. went nuts. And yeah. They had 75 lawsuits, and just put just put the nativity scene up. That's put it. Put a Christmas tree up. Shut up. And that's it. But Gary, Sing Jingle Bells, Silent Night, let's that's go. It. Santa really, Claus. Really. All we go. can do as Christians is pray for the young man's soul. Yes, I told Ours him. Ours is not to judge. No, no, uh, no I want to judge. Well, I he, know he's you a do. clown. Not on this show, well, he's a clown. You're married to a judge. This is the only time you get to do it when you're on the show because she judges everything at home. Oh, good. One thing they did right was the First Amendment. The Establishment Clause is there so that uh, Rhode Island did not become Lutherans or New York did not become Episcopalians and Maryland did not become Catholics. That was the idea of the Establishment Clause. It was not there to keep a baby Jesus from occupying a Franklin County uh, square in Indiana. That wasn't the purpose. What occurred over the last uh, 237 years is that those who living now want to interpret the Constitution in ways consistent with their personal beliefs. And so even though abortion, gay rights, nativity scenes are not in the Constitution, the uh, left wing of this country want to enact rules, regulations, and laws that complies with their personal viewpoints. And they want to use the Constitution as an excuse to make the rest of us buckle under, under the rule of law. It's a beautiful thing to watch. I said this last night on my Sunday night show that the Democrat Party gave birth to the Ku Klux Klan and all the Klan members were Democrats and the Republicans fought against it. And at least for the last 50 years, the Democrat Party has done its best in the urban areas to create divisions between black and white, between men and women, between Hispanics and the rest of us, between citizens and non-citizens, between employers and employees. They spend their time in division. And if the Founding Fathers were alive today and seeing the status of the country they gave birth to 
and 1787, they would be amazed at how far we have strayed from the path and the course that they had set.